I'm running for city council uh, because I've always had a passion for politics. It came honest through my father, who was a long-term mayor and twice county warden. He's so mayor of Olmstead. Uh, mayor of Chatsworth, sorry. Chatsworth. Uh, previously Sullivan Township, and then into Chatsworth during the amalgamation um, of municipalities. So I have a passion for politics and I do uh, get very frustrated when I watch uh, what's went on in recent years here in Olm Sound and I just find that current council is extremely unaccountable to people. Um, it's very indecisive um, and it's wasteful for people's money. Um, I met recently with Miranda Miller who is a concerned citizen in Olm Sound regarding the BCK property. And I asked Miranda, in the last three years that you've been complaining to the city, who has came to your house to speak to you about your concern? And she said, no one. And I thought, well, you've got to be kidding me. And this, to your frustration, somebody must have came to your house. That's what being a counselor is all about. And her reply was still, no, no one had ever reached out to her. And went to her door, knocked on her, and taken time to look at your concerns. And whether you agree with them or not, the fact is, in your role as a counselor, you're there to speak and represent the people and bring their concerns forward. So I find that that lack of engagement extremely, extremely saddening. I think the, the first two are very easy to identify. And the first one's growth. And it's growth through assessment and, and the ability to be able to facilitate job creation here in Olm Sound and expedite uh, interest through City Hall. So we have got to become more pro-development. We cannot be a hindrance to, um, to developers and receiving uh, investment into our community. I come to that opinion being a business owner myself. I've had Runner's Den now with my wife since 2006 and we relocated to revitalize a component of downtown last year. Um, and I know firsthand how competitive the global economy is, the local economy, the regional economy, what you are competing against for jobs. As much as we want to work with other municipalities, at the end of the day, you must be more competitive. So we have to become more competitive at City Hall. And my thought processes are really that businesses are essentially customers. So we have to become more customer friendly and retain the businesses that we have because it's much less expensive to retain current customers than it is to develop and try to get new ones. Secondly, taxes on individuals. People will continue to move outside of Owen Sound just because they have uh, the perception that it's cheaper to live in Sire Rock or Georgian Bluffs or Chatsworth and commute into Owen Sound. And we can say yes, but we've got the services. However, their reply will be, but I don't use the services. I don't use public transit. I don't need public transit. I'm happy living in Georgian Bluffs and driving to my job in Owen Sound. I'm supporting the community, but I'm not building in the community. To that effect, we've got some builders who won't build in the community that are good builders that build, you know, high value homes with an increased assessment value on them, which is, you know, if you can build 350,000 or $325,000 homes in your community, it is a benefit to a certain extent, more so than building $175,000 homes. It's more money for the city. The third one would be a longer term strategic vision for the city. I think moving forward, the amount of work that is in front of municipalities, and it's not just Old South, over the next 10 years or 25 years of infrastructure is huge. And the federal funds and the provincial funds will dry up. They're getting lessened as it is. They're running out of money. And it's a smaller pot to draw from and our needs are greater. So we have got to have a longer term vision as to what our costs will be for fire and what in 10 years our costs will be for police what our costs will be for recreational services. And as part of that, we have to include the pension obligation that we're going to have. Because if we look at the neighbors to the south and cities like Stockton, California, or Detroit, it's these unforeseen pension obligations that really crippled and choked cities. We have to become more aware of where we're going in the future.
Well, I know that I'm willing to engage the community to a, a higher extent than what has been previously done. And if I could exemplify off the transit again uh, to show that, I rode the transit routes one day. Uh, I paid my fare. I did not ride on the free transit day, which some of the current councillors did. I chose to ride on a regular day and engage regular users as to the services that are provided. What can be done better? What's being done well? And I sat behind the drivers because I thought if I want to learn more about the transit, I'll ask the people that should know the most and that would be the drivers. I'm not there to send everything out to a consulting firm, in which case thereby I now become unaccountable to the electorate because it was their decision. As your counselor, I would be that person that's going to ride those transit routes. I noted some efficiencies that I thought right off the bat in some of the routes that identified concerns of time crunch um, and racing to get back to the terminal and maintain schedules and there's certain ideas that came to me just as a general rider that can easily be implemented. So my role as a counselor is to be able to work better with people and um, use those resources that we have and see if we can use them better rather than just ask for individuals and we'll pay for those individuals outside of the city to come in and consult for us. I want to be accountable to the people. I'm going to engage them to a, a new level. Um, and there is some savings to that. There is some reward for that. We can start with uh, <clears throat> increasing some of the current services and working better with their neighbors. We don't need to uh, put off running a bus to Gray County Mall because we've been waiting for George and Bluffs to, count it, to, to call upon us. And they've been waiting for us to call upon them. That is political non-speak and it's nonsense. And moving forward, that's the, uh, the type of atmosphere that has to, to become yesterday's news. We need to move forward and be more proactive ourselves. That's what people ask for and I think they expect from their counselors. Uh, or they, we should be able to do better for them.